Content creators have so much to consider when filming and finding a lighting solution can really be hit and miss. It's actually frustrating at times. Some lights are portable, but they're not powerful. And some lights are very, very powerful and professional, but they're just not portable. So what do you do, right? Well, I think I've found the solution in the Ji Yun Molus G60. Whether you're a photographer, a videographer, this lighting solution might just be what you have been looking for. So let's shed some light on the Molus G60. That was a terrible joke. Now, it's important to note that I paid for this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video, but if you want to see this light for yourself, or even if you want to purchase it, please click the link in the description because it really helps my channel. And go ahead and while you're there, you know, probably should subscribe as well. So, you know, go ahead and do that now. The Ji Yun, by the way, watched a video on how to say that name. Pretty sure I'm still doing it incorrectly, but so is everybody else, so we're fine. Ji Yun. Like for Jiyun. Jiyun. Difficult also. The Jiyun Molus G60, it's about the size of a Rubik's Cube, but it packs a super powerful punch with its 60 watts of output, making it a fantastic addition to your setup without taking up too much space. It gives off way more light than it should, and it fits right in your bag, which is a huge plus. So the M60's affordability is shocking compared to its power output. While it does require an external power source and one thing I will say about the external power source is it's so long that not only can this fit in tight spaces but this really really long power source allows you to move it around the room easily without having to change the plug a ton I love that so while it does require a external power source its small footprint means it can fit into really tight spaces where other lights just don't really shine sorry I'm gonna stop anyway and if you're moving it through these tight spaces um, these control Controls on the back and the LED screen make it really easy to, to adjust the light, even in like super dark conditions, which I, you know, obviously appreciate. Now about these controls here, I think they could have made them more sturdy or even more tactile. I do at times feel like I could just like turn it too hard and it just snapped right off. I feel like this was a little bit of a miss. but. Definitely not a deal breaker. Wanted to mention it, but again, not a deal breaker. I know I've already said this a ton of times, but I'm kind of just obsessed with how compact this thing is. But the Molus G60, just because it's small, doesn't mean it like doesn't work with a ton of stuff. It comes with this uh, Zhiyun's range of light modifiers, and it offers this extensive selection of Bowen's fit options that just go, you know, right on the front here uh, of the light. And it has an included adapter in the box to allow you to do that. It even has a small tilt mount, which makes it so much more versatile for all types of shooting solutions. But how does the light actually perform? In a word, it's unreal. It doesn't compromise on lighting performance for being so small. A single unit can beautifully uh, light a subject. I mean, you can see just how bright it is when you when you turn this thing on. Uh, I would use it as a key light on my desk or especially with when it's paired with some sort of like a dome diffuser or something like that, which comes in the box. Uh, by the way, I was mounting the dome onto the light upside down for um, quite some time before I put it on correctly because, you know, I'm a pro. So for vloggers and content creators, one of these lights is probably going to do you just fine. But if you are in a photo studio where you need a multiple light setup, having two or three of these around that can move super, super easily is a huge win. I read somewhere that there is gonna be like a Bluetooth app coming out that will obviously like connect to the light and allow you to make settings, you know, from your phone or your iPad or whatnot, which is gonna be really, really helpful. But for now, I did not find changing the settings, even the advanced settings, a huge deal using the dial and using the uh, dials and using the LCD screen. One thing though that sets the G60 apart is its compatibility with, like I said earlier, light modifiers. So thanks to its Z mount, Z mount, which can also be adapted to Bowens for every option. You have the ability to uh, connect to a ton of accessories. And all the accessories that come with it make it something you can start using right away, no matter what project you're working on. And, and I really appreciate that because instead of, you know, buying this product that you're really excited about, that you spent a couple hundred bucks on, and then finding out you have to go get a mount, you have to go get a diffuser, you have to go get uh, anything, that's really frustrating. So to open the box and have everything right there, 
I love that. And the, at the price point, if I just got the light and then had to go out and spend 50 or 60 bucks on extra accessories, I gotta be honest, that would be frustrating for me. But now I know when I open the box, it has everything I need, which is top notch. I love that. Okay, but nothing is perfect, right? So let's talk about a couple of the downsides or the drawbacks. I already mentioned that on the back here, these controls are a little flimsy and that's just something, the reason I keep bringing it up is it's not a deal breaker, but just like, it feels like down the line as the light is pulled in and out of my bag and messed with that in the future, this could be a concern, but it's not an immediate concern. But one other potential drawback is the lack of RGB options on the light. Yeah, it's, it's not, it, it provides no color. The light behind me, I can make it whatever color I want. This key light, I can't change it to any color except for what you're seeing now. I can only turn up the uh, intensity um, and the color temperature, but having RGB in this package, I know it might make it a little bit more expensive, but it's the one thing in, in my opinion that it's missing. And some people might say, well, I don't need uh, color in my light. Yeah, okay, great. Then this is not a concern for you, but for some, it might be a concern. And then finally, we need to talk about the price because this is only 250. Now I say only 250, I'm not made of money, but this is not expensive in the lighting world. I obviously wish it were cheaper given that it doesn't give you the RGB options. However, moving up in price, you will get more professional solutions, but those solutions will not travel. So as you move up the, uh, the, the status of your lighting rig, obviously the price increases, but those lights don't travel well. The G60 is an amazing solution, you know, with some things, some concessions, some drawbacks you might have to deal with, but its small footprint allows you to place your light, like I said, in tighter locations and even throw it in a bag with you, which these other more professional lights just can't do. I have to say that in the realm of compact lighting solutions, the Zhiyun Molas G60 truly stands out. It's a combination of small size and power output and versatility, which makes it an excellent choice for content creators, videographers, photographers, anybody that needs a portable and efficient lighting solution. I do wish it had a removable battery, but I'm gonna let that go. But while it may not match the sheer power and high end uh, output of you know more expensive lights, it remains an affordable and reliable alternative. So for me, it's a win and it might be for you too, but don't leave me hanging. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't leave without watching this next video.